Hello, I hope you are doing great. So today I wanted to talk about personal growth um, and reflecting on said growth. And it's a topic that a lot of people do talk about around this time of the year, but I really wanted to bring it in because it's really easy to focus on what we didn't accomplish. And I really wanted to shift the mindset into what we have accomplished. And I really wanted to guide you through the thought process on how you could review your year and how you could see this current moment as being able to learn and shift and appreciate all these moments. So first, let's talk about the small wins. We're talking about the things that did matter, that added up, that made you feel good in those moments, the things that could be seen from the outside as minuscule, like a new habit that you implemented, a new skill that you implemented, uh, being able to handle stress or setting a boundary. It could be from anything personal, professional. It could be from relationship. It could be from anything. Find three to five small wins that made you feel good, that made you feel like you actually um, connected in some sort of way. And when we mean small, I mean small, like something that you could have implemented that now it's part of your life. Something that it felt minuscule back then but now you actually realize the impact that it has done and once you do that you're gonna go into the major lessons find the things that challenged you that made you feel like it was a setback that made you feel as if uh, you know as it as if it built you it, it created resilience it made you grow it made you realize how important those things are so it could be something like you became more patient, you were kinder to yourself, it promoted your mental health, it made you feel good, and even ask questions like, how has it changed you? Um, what was the impactfulness of it, you know? And believe it or not, we sometimes tend to learn more when we make mistakes than when we do things right because those mistakes or those things that were tougher harder more difficult were actually the things that you needed to be able to comprehend and understand where you want to take your life beyond the scope of your current situation that you are looking at a tunnel vision by you analyzing all the things from small to large it allows you to create a bigger picture of the situation and also recognizing areas for future growth growth is a journey in our destination and people can look at many many things in different ways so maybe you need to build your self-confidence you need to love yourself more you need to create work-life balance maybe you need to strengthen certain relationships that you gained or some that you felt like you've lost but focusing on that is going to create um, the ability of you then towards the end of the year creating new goals with the new perspectives that you are currently feeling and also through this process feeling gratitude i mentioned gratitude so many times but it's so important for you to actually focus on gratitude because it's going to be the one thing that is really going to help you to keep it going is being grateful of the good moments the bad moments the moments that made you grow the moments that it made you look back and think why am i doing this why am i trying this the moments that tested you the moments that made you question everything and the moments that made you realize that that was exactly what you needed exactly what you wanted exactly what made you thrive and exactly what made you vibrate in happiness and in fulfillment Okay, and just to close it up, I have two things I want to do. One is making sure that you understand that you need to have self-compassion for yourself, that you need to understand that it's okay, that it's not perfect, that 
we take day by day and you should just simply embrace your feeling grounded and feeling motivated and feeling good instead of being burned out by the year end. And I even would like to share an affirmation, which is I honor my growth and trust my journey exactly as it is. I will repeat that again. I honor my growth and trust my journey exactly as it is. It is so powerful and I love that one. And also, once again, I'm bringing prompts because this is the reality at the end of the year. I have come up with a bunch of prompts. So, prompt number one. What are three small wins I am proud of this year? Two. What was a significant challenge I overcame and what did it teach me? Three, what's one habit or mindset that helped me grow this year? Four, what would I like to let go as I move into the new year? And five, what intention or theme do I want to carry into 2025? Take this moment to look back at your own growth, no matter how small, no matter how big, no matter how how far you've come, reflect on how you want to carry forward and let go of what no longer serves you. And be fabulous.